Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on January 29th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining today's video for Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Where first, we're going to look at planetary conjunction. And we have a Venus-Jupiter-Earth retrograde just about to leave us. We also have a earth Sun and Mercury retrograde as well. Mercury behind the Sun. So watch for an uptick in seismicity as these giants can affect everything in our solar system, especially our Sun. And looking at our Sun through the Solar Dynamics Observatory, 195 angstroms here, you can really see the plasma filaments with this image. You can also see a fiery flare heading out of that sunspot region on the right side. Luckily that was not earth facing. You can really see the intense energy here on that sunspot that is departing. Also watching on this image here, you can see a large coronal hole sustaining and almost getting bigger. So watch for space weather to affect us as we have a coronal wind stream heading our way with this large coronal hole, Earth facing. Start out here as well, Pacific Disaster Center. I'm going to show you the major alerts across North America right now. Of course, we've got the extreme cold temperatures. Midwestern United States, as well as Eastern Canada, Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Extreme cold in parts of China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Germany. These extreme cold temperatures are invading the northern hemisphere right now as the polar vortex is growing more intense and really screwing with our jet streams. Looking at some intense flooding northeastern Australia as that large low pressure system is still and will continue to hammer the north northeastern part of the continent. Extreme heat in Peru a lot of action recently in the South America in regards to volcanoes and earthquakes. It's getting very active. Here we are, five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Looking at most, mostly cold conditions, freezing conditions across northeastern United States and Canada. As those temps in parts of northern Manitoba and Yellowknife minus 46 in some places and that's without the wind chill folks minus 46 degrees Celsius and still not too cold yet here in Calgary but it is coming watch this large high pressure ridge polar vortex moving in later in the week temperatures we could see minus 20 without the wind chill Cold temperatures straight across Alaska, frigid, frigid, frigid across the Northern Hemisphere. Still watching large multiple vortices moving across the Pacific Ocean as one large low pressure system after another shoots out of China. And those deep lower level troughs 
It's not getting over the peninsula there. Overlooking Australia here, we've got this northeastern low pressure center that has been spinning there for days now, spawning torrential rain in some areas and thunderstorms. But you can see here, the coming five days, it is relentless and is not going to stop. So this is an extreme weather event, flooding conditions, torrential downpours, thunderstorm conditions across northeastern Australia. As they're dealing with quite a heat wave right now, some places on the continent up to 47 degrees Celsius. All this moisture coming in from the northeast, it doesn't seem to be cooling it down at all. Wow. Not anywhere in the continent, not even at nighttime, is it under 20 degrees. Very hot in Australia. South America still watching intense rainfalls. Buenos Aires, Argentina. But yeah, the big story is the extreme cold temperatures across the United States and Canada. As well, extreme cold, heavy snow conditions apart in parts of Austria and Germany. As that large superstorm is coming in now, could bring really heavy winds to parts of Portugal, almost hurricane force, five kilometers per hour away. And let's get to the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Most recent earthquake was this 4.7 Visakoi Island. And this was a region where it was pretty quiet recently. So I was expecting an uptick and there it is. Also Peru going off today, 5.5. Mexico yesterday, that 5.0. Still pretty quiet across North America. Pretty deep earthquakes in the Tonga again. Japan ringing off a 5.0. As well, the Mariana Islands with a 4.1. And the Philippines as well. So semi-active last 24 hours. Also a strange one here, what's that, a 4.3, what is that, Poland? I'm not sure where that is. Here we are, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. A lot of deep earthquakes recently. Watch for larger, shallower earthquakes, most likely South America or North America. Thanks again for watching today. This is Mike. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.